Hey everybody, welcome to the Baby Lock Ovation Surgery Manual. Today what I wanna do is answer a question that I received from one of my viewers. Um, the question was, can you explain to me what the stitch selector on the side of the ovation does? So the A, B, C, and D selection um, knob on the side of the machine. And I thought we could go over that really quickly. This isn't gonna be a long tutorial, it's just sort of a review of what um, that stitch selector does for you. Um, on page 14 of the instruction manual, there's a brief description of each selection and what to basically use it for. Before we get going with the letters, I just wanna explain the difference between a balanced stitch and an unbalanced stitch. Now, a balanced stitch is like a four thread overlock, a three thread wide overlock, where your stitches, your looper threads, are meeting along the cut edge of your fabric. You can see here, this is a four thread overlock stitch, and you can see from the top, everything's nice and smooth and flat, and the looper thread is meeting the uh, lower looper right along the cut edge. So there's the underside, and you can see that it's meeting right there along the edge of my fabric. That means the stitch is balanced. And to get a balanced stitch, the upper and lower looper tensions need to be, you know, sort of in, in agreement with each other so they're not pulling the thread to the front or the back. So that's what a balanced stitch is. Now, an unbalanced stitch would be something like a rolled hem. And I have at one of Abby's prom gowns here, and I thought I would just show you, this is a really nice finish. Um, like if you don't want to do a, a super serious hem job on silk charmeuse, which I did not, I did a very relaxed um, rolled hem. And a rolled hem is an example of an unbalanced stitch because the lower looper thread is pulling the upper looper to the back. And that's how it gets that nice roll. And that's how you get that nice finish on a hem, for example. All right, so that would be an example of an unbalanced stitch. So keep that in mind as we go along with the stitch selector now. Uh, stitch selector A is for those balanced stitches when you're using your O1 or right needle. All right, so that would be an example of um, where the needle needs to be. Now it either could just be the O1 needle for a three thread wide or both needles in a four thread overlock like like the one I just showed you, that's when you would use your A selector. That means the lower looper tension is very, very similar or the same as the upper looper tension. Now, to go to B, um, B is going to make the tension a little bit snugger because instead of using this needle, we'd be putting the needle in the um, O2 position. I'll just move it over so you can see. And you can see now the needle is closer to the blade. There's less space. If um, the needle is closer to the edge, you wanna make sure you keep those loopers nice and snug to accommodate a, sh a narrower stitch. All right, so the C selector selection is for narrow stitches with short stitch lengths. And the common stitches you're gonna use with C would be the narrow three thread hem and the um, wave stitch. And really what that's doing is it's starting to apply unequal tension to that lower looper. So while A and B have pretty equal tension between upper and lower loopers, the C selector starts to tighten up that lower tension. And um, if we look at the narrow hem, you can see right here in the narrow um, hem, we're using C. And if you look at the picture, it's making the edge of the fabric turn under slightly for the hem. So the, the way you get the fabric to do that is you tighten up that lower looper tension thread just a little bit, and it helps the fabric roll just a little bit um, to the wrong side. It's not completely um, tight and locked down like a rolled hem because the because it's still a balanced stitch, but I think it's, it applies just a little bit more um, tension to those lower looper threads to help turn the fabric. Now, the D selector is when we really wanna ramp up that 
um, lower looper tension. And you would use that for a completely unbalanced stitch like a rolled hem. And what that's doing is, this pretend this is my fabric and my, you know, I'm, I'm surging along. It actually rolls the fabric and underneath the lower looper is actually, the lower looper thread is actually pulling the upper looper all the way around to the underside. And all you see of that lower looper thread then are little dots. Okay, so that's the unbalanced stitch and that's the deselection um, on the stitch lever. So let me just put this back so you can see. So we've got A, B, C, and D. So if you're working with, you know, a variety of fabrics on all these different stitches and you're not getting the, a perfect, um, a beautiful looking stitch, there is another thing you can do. All right, so if you're working with one of the stitches and you have your stitch selector on the right letter, but the tension isn't exactly perfect, another thing you can try is um, there's a fine tuning knob over here where you can tighten or loosen the tension on the threads. Okay, so that's another thing you can use to play with if you're not getting the perfect results um, that you need to have on a given stitch. So keep that in mind. Um, the Baby Lock Ovation Serger Manual is amazing. And I just wanna point out that in addition to the information on page 14, there is a chart for um, stitch selections. And those are on the last couple pages, 88 and 89. So this is sort of a, a really kind of cool um, chart. And if you look, it tells you the stitch selector for many of the stitches. Um, so you can keep that in mind, stitch pages 88 and 89. The last thing I wanna mention about the stitch selection dial is you don't need to worry about it if you're working with the chain or cover stitches because the chain looper thread is controlled by this um, chain stitch or cover stitch tension dial. You would need to check this if you were working with the six, seven, or eight thread stitches. And the cool thing is on page 88 and 89, it will tell you which stitch selector to use. So if you're doing a combination of a cover hem plus, um, you know, let's say it's a, a cover hem and a narrow edge, then you wanna check to see what the stitch selection is. So um, basically, basically, think of it like your tension control dial a, balanced and loosest. B, a little bit more tension. C, the lower looper thread's getting a little bit tenser, but not enough to throw it off balance. And then D is when it really cranks up that lower um, looper thread. So that's really what this is doing for you. Um, and then just remember, if you're doing the wave stitch, you'll find your re best results in B or C. So that's my little... Um, Q&A about the stitch selector. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them below. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you again soon.